Today, we proudly celebrate one of our government's important milestones in its efforts to improve the lives of the people of our country. The place where we are today was once a valley full of shacks. There was not even a single formal house. Residents of this place lived in a life of squalor, poverty, and homelessness. However, today the situation has changed dramatically. And this change will continue as we forge ahead in our mission to fulfill our constitutional mandate. Our years of effort to ensure that our people enjoy a much better life have paid off. Namsanje Abba, this morning is in Bonke. But the Kuna, that did not go to your place again. It didn't give you what it means. Yes, I go in the party room and turn on the minute. I put in the minute. Who could meant to get no way to? I got one to go up eighty, sixteen, and there's a thirty years old. Imnyaga de Mia, Umonaga, Omaku, Amata de Mia, no longer than a minute. No man, Mashima, be the owner of Mia. Luto, our government took the decision to improve this place because we realize the hardships that our people face. We needed a project that would not only create a housing opportunity, but one that would be part of an overall strategy to provide better facilities and to correct the apartheid spatial planning by bringing people closer to their workplaces in line with our national development plan. This project provided an opportunity to build integrated and sustainable communities not only here, but in almost every part of the country. There are many projects that we are undertaking to change this country. We believe that this project and many others similar to it will make a dent on the housing that we are currently experienced in most of our country's major urban centre. Government is hopeful that these interventions would have drastically help eliminate the existence of informal settlements in which it's often difficult to deliver essentials such as health and education services. I thank our people for their understanding and patience as well as their support in all the projects that we are undertaking here. Without the support, the government alone would not succeed. We need to work together to take South Africa forward and bring meaningful change in our community.